Go ahead. All right. So hi, I'm Mrs. Foy, and I'm an AP Biology teacher, and this is one of my students, Megan. And I have roped Megan into talking a little bit about what she's doing to prepare for the AP Biology exam and our, our final class exam. So one of the things that I had suggested that the students do was to take distillation notes. So um, all of their notes, all of their lecture notes, all of their reading notes, um, I give them guided reading assignments, try to, to distill that into something that they can, um, uh, you know, kind of a summary of those notes and then to study from that. And Megan has actually done that. And so I just wanted her to talk a little bit about how she's preparing for this exam and just kind of the mountain of information. So I'll let you talk a little bit about what you're doing. Okay. I start with the AP bio book, and in each chapter they have a list of concepts that you should know and a list of terms that you should know. So I type up all my notes that I do, and I start by typing the concepts they want us to know and all the terms that they want us to know. And then I go through my notes in my binder on the chapters that I'm studying and my notes on the computer that we've taken in class and I put everything important under the concepts that goes with them and I highlight all of the key terms to make sure that I know them and sometimes I even add pictures of diagrams if I think that those will be helpful and then I use the website Mastering Biology and I do different activities and I'll take the quiz that they have on there and if I get any of the questions wrong, I look back to see why I got them wrong. And if I don't understand them, I'll write them down on a question sheet and ask Mrs. Foy about them in class. Yeah. So that's the other thing I've encouraged, just to kind of keep a running question sheet. And um, I, I roped Megan into doing this today in class. She doesn't have her question sheet with her. But she um, is keeping a list of questions. And one of the things we were talking well, why don't you talk about um, what it feels like when you're going through this list of questions and then you answer your own questions. It feels really good just to, and it helps me to understand them too when I can answer them myself. Yeah. yeah, and to just kind of list those questions. And then the other thing I've had my students do, and we don't have Edmodo pulled up there, but I've asked my students to come up with a top 10 questions list and post it on Edmodo so that everybody in the class can see those and that we can then uh, use that for a focus review. So, so how long ago did you start doing this? And it started out you know, just taking a long time, I know. I mean, kind of how do you feel about the time investment and how valuable you think this is and, you know, your feelings in going through this process? Yeah, I started doing the distillation notes about a month ago, and I try and do a little bit each and night. And the test is in about a week. In about a week, yeah. 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 And I try and do a little each night, but I do most of it over the weekends. And at first it took me a while to kind of get the hang of it and get into a routine of doing this, but now it doesn't take me that long. And I think it's really important because I found that going over it a second time, it helps me to learn it faster. And I do remember a lot of the stuff that I thought I didn't. And it just really reinforces everything and helps me. Okay, thanks.